For this pro bike check, we've gone back to the 90s, and this is a ProFlex 957 from 1997. The 90s, it's got to be said, was a decade of some pretty awful mountain bikes, but actually, it's a really important time. We saw loads of really cool advancements in technology. And actually, this ProFlex is a sign of that, really. It's got full suspension, which is pretty new. It's also got these no-lean coil shocks that actually have adjustable rebound and compression. The fork definitely looks unusual to modern eyes. It's a Gervin Crosslink Pro Carbon fork. You see it's got these carbon fibre legs and then mounted onto this pivot with this no lean coral shock in the middle. This bike has got a 1 1 8 inch head tube with a Tange A headset. Uh, that was actually quite new at the time as well. Before that you'd have a threaded headset with a quill stem but these were much better. The fork gives you 80mm of suspension, and on the rear it's got 90mm. Eastern aluminium frame with this carbon fibre swing arm, and in the catalogue it says the bike comes in four different sizes, small, medium, large, and way big. The catalogue also says it has active suspension, which you didn't always get in the 90s. Up to the bars, it's got these Gervin Eastern aluminium bars in 570 millimetres wide, which feel absolutely narrow, like some road bars almost. The control tech stem is 140 mil long, so a super long stem on this. The brakes on this bike are V-brakes. They have these Altec brake levers that I've actually not heard of. They look pretty trick. It's got to say V-brakes are an absolute revelation in those mid to late 90s. Before that, you had cantilever brakes that really didn't work, and V-brakes were actually really good. You can almost get away with using one finger on both your brakes. It's got grip shift ESP900 gears, and this is before grip shift turned into what we know now as SRAM. Look at this Kuka chain set. That is pretty trick for the 90s, back when you actually called your bikes trick. 22, 32, and a 44 chainring size. And look at these pedals there. Oh, they're modern Crank Brothers. Thought they looked good. The bike has 26 inch wheels. The rear wheel, I don't think is original. I think it's probably been damaged over the years. So let's check out the front one. It's got this real hub with a see-through plastic cover. That's pretty trick. Quick release, obviously, before bolt through. And it's got a Mavic 220 rim. Maxxis tire looks like it's made out of plastic rather than rubber. Time for some measurements. The tires, they say they're 1.95 inches wide look really narrow to me. They come in about 1.8 inches. 29 pounds. Back in 1997, this ProFlex was actually seen as a pretty advanced bike, but the 90s were definitely really important in technology changes. We weren't far off seeing conventional suspension forks get much better, so this was pretty much the end of these Gervin forks. Also, disc brakes weren't far off. If you want to see more videos like this, you can click just up there and that'll take you through to a video where I actually ride this bike and tell you what it was like. If you click down there, that'll take you through to Jason McCroy's retro bike. Click just about here to subscribe to GMBN if you haven't done already and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this pro bike check.